today and do my ink review on Purple Soul Rubber Oster Ink. Rubber Oster Ink usually comes in a 50ml bottle. Looks like this. And it usually has a label on top that says what it is. Okay, let's go with our color chart. Okay. This is my color chart. I put it on a Bristol paper. And I put strips of Fabriano, Tomori River, and Rodeo paper on it. So I can see how the ink reacts on the paper side by side. Here it is up close. I don't see no sheeny in it. But you can tell where it dried really heavily. It left a really dark ring on it. It's a pretty purple. It has more of like a bluish gray type of a tone to it. But if you see here in the writing, it's a pretty purple. Purple soul. Alright, here we go. Here we are on radio paper. I wrote Herbal Oyster. Purple soul. I do a medium scrubby and a 0.6 scrubby. I put how it comes in, where it's from, and I put what kind of pins I used. Pins I used was Nemesis Singularities, which are these two. The medium nib and the 0.6 nib. And then I have my saying, the little bird plays in the forest, with the alphabet. And underneath that, I have my water drop test. Put a drop of water on it. Pick it up with a napkin. Yeah, I picked it up. And I did water test. Smeared it around with my finger. Put a napkin on it. Picked it all up so it's not water resistant. And then in under radio paper. I can see my markings right here. I do 5 seconds to smear. Wait 10 seconds to smear. So I kind of guesstimated around 13 seconds it would dry. Flip it over. Did not bleed through, did not show through. You could probably write on this side, but some people don't feel comfortable doing it. If you don't feel comfortable, don't. Next, we have Tomoe River. And of course, put the name on it. I did my medium scrubby, my 0.6 scrubby, my phrase, my alphabet, A through Z. And on this paper, it took 28 seconds to dry, as you can clearly see right here in my little scrubs. Let's flip it over. Let's see what we got. It didn't bleed through, which was pretty good. Um, probably has some show through. A lot of people don't feel comfortable writing on the back of Tawana River. Of course, like I said, if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Next, we should have Fabriano Echo Claw. It's a pretty heavy paper. And I do my medium scrubby. Then I do my 0.6 scrubby. Then my phrase and my alphabet. And then the medium nib. It took 14 seconds to dry. Let's flip it over. No bleed through. No show through. Most likely correct on the other side. So like I said, if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Next we have Staples Copy Paper. Everybody has a room of this laying around the house. It's pretty cheap. Alright. My medium scrubby, my point six scrubby. My phrase, my alphabet. And on this, basically, you write on it, it sucks it in. Bleed through pretty face. <laughs> you can definitely see it in the scrubbies. Never where I stopped. You can see where it bled through. Um, you probably sacrifice the paper underneath, but it's cheap staples copy paper, so yeah to be expected. Next we have Mead Notebook Paper. Of course I got my scrubbies. I got my medium, my 0.6, my phrase, and then my alphabet A through Z. Uh, of course it just sucks it in so it only took a second to dry. Bleed through like crazy. Sad face. There you go. Pretty face. You're gonna sacrifice the paper underneath. So my advice would be take that sacrifice paper, put it underneath every time you use it. 
Yeah, so you just sacrifice that one paper over and over and over. Next but not least, we have this bad boy. Post-it notepad paper. And basically, it's a green one. And I did my medium scrub, 0.6, my phrase, my alphabet. And on this, it took 17 seconds to dry. Let's flip it over, see what we got. No bleed through, which is crazy. You get here to the little sticky part. It has some slight bleed through, but doesn't show up on the other piece of paper. Something to do with that sticky part, you might get a hard start. But that's to be expected because it might leave some sticky film. Anyway, that was my ink review on this bad boy, Robert Oyster Purple Soul. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, if you have any questions, put it down in the comment section. And if you want to see the writing, I'll scan it and post it on my Google Plus account. And it's open to public, so you can check it out there. Alright, catch y'all later. Bye.